second session today we will discuss about difference between monitoring and evaluation uh, the difference between monitoring and evaluation we have categorized uh, in four category the first one is uh, time the monitoring we do in regular way it may be daily weekly or monthly while evaluation we do in specific times for example baseline uh, that we do at the beginning of the project or we have midline <coughs> for example uh, baseline uh, midline and inline This is this line we do at the beginning of the project and we have a midline that we when the project will be in the midterm so we do midline <coughs> and we have inline uh, that when we complete the project so the difference between monitoring and evaluation is time that we do monitoring in regular way for example in daily weekly or monthly while we do monitor evaluation in specific times uh, for example baseline midline and inline we do baseline at the beginning of the project and midline and the metro of the project and in line when we complete the projects or activity the second difference between monitoring and evaluation is some questions these are general questions we have these general question in, evolu in, mon in monitoring and evaluation both first we'll discuss about the monitoring general question in monitoring first of all we concentrate on target so for example did we reach the target we have set for the indicators so uh, the first question is that we achieve the target and that we have set for indicators and uh, the second question is our project spending money in resources efficiently this is very important in the project implementation uh, for this purpose that we when we implement a project we must uh, consider this point that we will use resources efficiently otherwise the project will not be very uh, 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 will not be a, a good project and it will not be implemented in a good way so this is very important that we must uh, 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 use resources uh, efficiently uh, when we implement a project so it's very important that we must use many resources efficiently in a project or in activity or in a program so <clears throat> in Emini uh, we have questions the first question is questions are of all the monitoring and the third question <coughs> How any problem come up uh, we will note any problem and uh, the final question is have you noticed any success for example we uh, we have more point that uh, we have successfully implemented the project so we will note it and finally we have questions for uh, evaluation in these are the general question of the evaluation the first question is that we achieve the uh, planet uh, objective or goal so this is very important to end uh, uh, planet uh, 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 goal is very important that you must achieve when we implement a project after implementation 
if we did not achieve the planned outcomes or the overall goal it means that we have not to implement a good project the second question is that was our project a good use of many resources so it means that this project was valuable and uh, it has the worth that to that we implement this project and we have spend money and for example in these resources this is the second question of the evaluation and it's very important that you must be understanding that uh, <coughs> our resources and money are used in sufficient way and the third question that uh, did something happen that we did not learn so in some project we have assumptions when we prepare the log frame uh, during of the log frame we have assumption and risk sometimes we consider uh, some assumptions that will be in our mind but sometimes uh, these assumptions and risk we did not consider uh, in the project but when the project implemented we uh, find uh, some things that we will consider in the future project so the third one is that was something happened that we did not plan and the fourth one uh, is that we learned something unexpected it means that we uh, will use the lesson learned lesson learned is very important in the project we consider uh, the the positive points with uh, are the strong points in the implementation of the next projects and uh, we avoid from the negative points uh, in the implementation of next project so this is very important that we will learn from the uh, implementation of the project the third difference between monitoring is uh, the usage of the data so we collect data for both monitoring and evaluation so it is very important to understand that monitoring always deal with the uh, input uh, and output output and short term outcome term outcome of the project so we must understand this that it is very important and we must consider that we, the monitoring it are dealt with input output short term outcome in the input for example we use resources and uh, we collect data about activities uh, we collect data about activities and uh, expenses uh, that we, we when we implement a project uh, it is uh, uh, it's uh, it seems that we use uh, uh, that we use resources and there may be expenses and activities uh, we do activities so the monitoring data deal with the input output and short-term outcome so and uh, the evaluation data it means that when we collect data by evaluation so we did not consider input or output we deal with outcome in our all goal so when the project implemented we uh, collect data for uh, outcome outcome and uh, our all goal our all goal so I'm sorry our all goal we collect data for these two or or two and we have collected and monitoring for input output and short term outcomes the fourth difference between monitoring and evaluation who can do the monitoring who can do the evaluation so <coughs> it's very simple that uh, any team members involved with the project can do monitoring it may be our project supervisor 
director, manager, or you know, senior staff, or the monitoring unit head, junior staffs, or senior staffs. So any team members involved with the project team can do monitoring and also evaluation at a specific time. It may be either an internal uh, team of the project or it will be the external team. External team they mean that it will be a third party or it will be a donor and it will not be the people or the steps of the project or, organi or organizations. So sometimes, or sometimes we uh, have mix team from both internal and external team. So this is very important to note that uh, the evaluation done by senior steps of the project uh, uh, internally. Uh, and uh, uh, and monitoring done by junior staff or senior staff, both of them can do the uh, evolu uh, monitoring. But uh, evaluation uh, done by the senior staffs and the result of the evaluation data uh, shared with senior managers for decision making and the direction of the project are the usage of the resources that they will change the direction of the project uh, and uh, they will bring uh, more change for example they will bring change in the usage of resources some in some points they will uh, increase the resources in some point will they decrease the resources so this is very important to understand that the monitoring done by any team members and evaluation team done by uh, internal and external team but in internal team they will uh, the, the, mm, they will be uh, senior steps so these four questions uh, we have explained in the next slide so here we will explain a little bit these four questions again as we have explained in the previous slide so the monitoring data that we used uh, regularly it may be daily weekly or monthly and uh, in general monitoring uh, answer these questions it means that we uh, do monitoring from input and output so uh, these are general question and all the monitoring concentrate on these four questions so we have different checklists for example but uh, the content of the the forum or the checklist will be uh, from these four questions the first question is that uh, is our project reaching target I mean we have indicators and uh, we have set target for every indicator so this is very important uh, that we have achieved the target on time otherwise the project will be become problematic or fail the second question is that uh, the resource is used efficiently so that we will use resource efficiently otherwise we will face with more challenging problems uh, we will note the problem that we will face with the uh, during of the monitoring and we will find solution for that and we will uh, note it uh, success it's very important these are the four questions of the monitoring and it comes in many exams when we, when we pass in the writing test or in the interview for the position of M&A and second we have evaluation questions evaluation questions uh, as we have mentioned that we do evaluation at specific times uh, for example we do evaluation at the beginning of the project we call this line and uh, we do at the midterm midline you know, or after implementation we call that in line so 
the evaluation data used in specific times and also evaluation uh, answer these questions it means when we prepare the checklist in the forms for the collection of data to do evaluation the content of the form and checklist will be these four questions first we will concentrate concentrate on the outcome or the impact that we achieve it or not the second one is we will focus on the uh, resources usage and we will understand that this project was valuable or not or the worth of the project was uh, was that uh, we have used many resources so was this project a successful project or uh, it was not uh, an efficient uh, uh, project uh, and the third find that uh, we have mentioned before of this that we will understand that what was not planned and we have that uh, that happened during of the project implementation here the assumptions are very important that we will consider it during of the project design in the lock frame or did we learn something the final question did we learn something and expect it uh, it means that uh, uh, that we must will have lesson learned from every project the strong point must be considered in the for uh, the project and the negative part finds should be avoiding in the next project when you implement when implemented so lesson learn is very important and these two questions uh, focus on the uh, uh, lesson learn and one more notes uh, as we know that we we have our own biases we have our own biases about everything we have about project we have about people we have about world so uh, a strong immunity practice a strong immunity practice kind of wired from uh, the uh, bias biases and we must collect uh, information or the we must collect uh, data uh, and information evidence based and we will must have evidence otherwise the the, the supporting document of the findings will not be uh, considered so we will have collect real information real data and many system to avoid the biases and in the management when we collect information that will have uh, evidence they call this approach evidence-based management and we can do this evidence-based management through a strong immunity practice and we will prepare great and strong immunity system in the organization thank you for watching